Hello, hi semua. Assalamualaikum. So in this uh, tutorial video, we will discuss uh, about uh, Kingdom Protista whereby uh, first of all we will discuss their unique characteristic. Uh, as you can see, these all are uh, example of protist. Protists exist as eukaryotes. Uh, most uh, of them are unicellular and some of them can live in a colonies or uh, they are simple multicellular. They are grouped into uh, either protozoa or animal-like protists or algae uh, which are plant-like protists. We will uh, discuss more about protozoa and algae in the next part. Uh, therefore, we continue uh, how they get their nutrition, how uh, algae get their nutrient. Most of the algae are photoautotroph, while most of the protozoa are heterotroph. Protists which are motile can have either pseudopodia or flagella or cilia. Protists uh, undergo photoautotroph as their feeding mood. Uh, they live in fresh water such as lake or marine. They are called as phytoplankton, while for uh, protozoan, they are called as zooplankton. Algae group can be divided into two phyla, which the first is phylum chlorophyta, the green algae, and the second is phylum phyophyta, the brown algae. Both of them are uh, aquatic. Uh, whereby they can undergo photosynthesis but they are not considered as plants even though they have chloroplasts and also uh, have structure like leaves or stem. Similarities between them also they lack cuticle. For example, we have phylum chlorophyta which is Chlamydomonas species. Uh, it has a chlorophyll A and B with eye spot Okay, and we can see uh, it can be red pigmented eye spot and it has oval shape with pointed arrow, has central nucleus since it is a uh, eukaryotic cell, uh, two flagella for movement, has a large cup shaped chloroplast inside uh, the cell. It can reproduce by uh, binary fission or sexually in unfavorable condition and mostly they are fresh water with two contractile vehicles to eliminate excess water. While for brown algae, they also are photoautotrophic uh, uh, organism with lots of uh, xanthophyll, fugosanthin, uh, chlorophyll A and C uh, for their uh, photosynthetic pigments. Therefore, they uh, appear brown and they, has, uh, they, and they have a body uh, with the structure called talus, uh, with plant-like alga body, uh, that lack of that lacks of uh, true roots, lacks of uh, true stem and true leaves, but uh, they have uh, the body structure that called as blade, uh, the leaf-like structure, uh, the stipe, the stem-like structure, the whole face, the root-like structure, and also has. Uh, and also have a uh, air bladder that function as uh, for buoyancy to help them float under the sea. Now we proceed with the second group of protists, which is protozoa. Protozoa can be uh, classified into four phyla, which are the first is phylum Euglenophyta. The example is Euglena species. Uh, second is phylum rhizopoda, example is uh, ameba species. Uh, phylum ciliophora, the example is paramecium species. And the last is phylum apicomplexa, the example is um, plasmodian species. So all of these, uh, uh, they have to live in uh, water. Okay, therefore they are aquatic. And since they also uh, unicellular, uh, eukaryotic organism do not have cell wall and uh, they move uh, independently with a contractile uh, vehicle inside to expel excess water for osmoregulation uh, but they cannot uh, produce their own uh, food therefore they are heterotrophic by uh, ingesting food 
let's discuss uh, the first phylum of protozoa which is the uh, Euglenophyta. The example is Euglena species. This species uh, is very special because it has uh, chloroplast um, to undergo photosynthesis and it also heterotroph. Uh, uh, this is the special about uh, Euglenophyta protozoa. It also has a uh, eye spot or stigma of the long flagellum to detect light. Pedicle as the flexible cover to provide strength and flexibility. And we also can uh, see how Euglena species move by beating its flagella. How about second phylum which is Rhizopoda? For example, Ameba species uh, whereby they have irregular or they can change their shape uh, by forming the pseudopodium or false foot uh, that enable them to move and also for feeding by phagocytosis. Next is uh, phylum Ciliophora, for example, Paramecium species. Uh, whereby uh, they can move by uh, the existence of cilia which cover all entire their body. There are special features like zipper like shape, uh, definite uh, shape covered by pedicle. Cilia also use uh, two types of nuclei, uh, which is the macronucleus that control cell metabolism and growth and also micronucleus that function in reproduction. The last one is phylum Apicomplexa, for example, uh, Plasmodium species. They are also known as a malarian uh, parasite, whereby they exist as unicellular eukaryote. They are non motile therefore they need hosts uh, to transfer them uh, to survive. And uh, they are spore-forming parasite. The spores transmitted from host to host. And they are called apicomplexa because they have complex organelles specialized to penetrate host cells. The complex life cycle involves asexual and sexual reproduction and they need two hosts. The first uh, host will be the mammalian host, for example, human. Therefore, they can live in a uh, bloodstream. And the second one is invertebrate host that is female mosquito that uh, needs uh, uh, blood uh, during uh, pregnancy. The example of female mosquito are anophilus species whereby when the female mosquito suck uh, blood, uh, uh, it will uh, cause the enter of um, plasmodium species into the red blood cell. This will destroy the red blood cell when the malarian parasite reproduce.